Hello everyone, welcome to VTech Solutions. Let's explore next interview question. What are all the advantage of test ng over J unit? And this advantage are very specific when compared with the J unit. Under the advanced configuration and annotation, it is very flexible test configuration. So test ng provides annotations like before suit after test before groups giving the control over setup or tear down at every levels like suit or test or group then dependency management so we can declare that one test method depends on the another with the help of depends on method attribute but j unit lacks native support for this then built-in data provider so data driven concept can be done with the help of a data provider annotation so that we can able to feed multiple parameters or value into a single test method without any external libraries that is very important then parameterization via xml so using at parameters annotations we can able to pass the values through the xml file so no need of hard coding and values like browser types, URLs and so on. Then test groups, we can able to group the test cases according to keywords like smoke, sanity, regression or any keyword and run the subset selectively. Then built in parallel execution, we can able to configure methods, classes, suits to run in parallel simply by setting the parameter equal to methods or classes in the XML file. Then inbuilt HTML report. TestNG will generate a comprehensive HTML report without any extra dependencies. Then custom listeners and reporters. We can able to implement interfaces like iReporter, iTestListener to hook into the test events custom logs screenshots on failure and integrate with CI dashboard. Then no external dependency. So test ng comes with a single standalone jar file with everything included. But in J unit, we often requires complementing with Hamcrest, Mokito and so on for full capabilities. Don't forget to follow me for daily QA interview tips. Thanks for watching.